Hello fellow YouTubers, Dog Man, Dog Ladies. Hope everybody's doing all right this evening. I want to tell y'all, there's a bad case of freaking hookworms going around that almost cost me half my damn yard. Um, they start, Joey started, got it first. I, at first I didn't know what it was. It was like overnight, it was like, Within 24 hours, they were down. Down. It was like um, bloody stool, vomiting, um, loss of appetite. I like, wouldn't eat at all. Nothing. What's up, tap hole? Tap hole's still available. She's off Joey. She looks just like Joey, too. She's about eight months. She's born on Halloween night. What's up, girl? Yeah. You good girl. I put her in a shady spot. But uh, Stomper got it. He was bad. I was afraid I was going to lose him. But um, Joey ended up on an IV. Had to put a drip on him all night. Hey, Solo. I decided I'm going to get rid of Solo. I know he's a short-legged little deformed midget, but he'll look damn good at the end of the leash. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else he'd be good for. Maybe wake pulling. But, um, but yeah, like these spots right here, because I'll tell you what, what, it, what did it. Like, I worm my dogs every three months. I use Valbazin, which is albendazole. I do it for three days in a row, five days in a row if I think they got tape. Um, but right here, like on the edge, on these edges, you see this one just now dried up. We was getting so much rain, like it, uh, it never got a chance to dry. So it like stayed wet for like months and months and months. And then every time, they would poop or shit. The water runs downhill, so it would run in these puddles. And um, then when it would, um, because I was like, how did they fucking all get it? Because 10 out of 12 got it. But uh, when it rains a lot, it overflows, and then the water goes from chain spot to chain spot. And, um, you know, there's that. And I will tell y'all, like, um, if y'all feed, like, I know it's a pain in the ass because I don't even do it. But um, I, I think I'm going to start, but every dog needs their own bowl, man, because I just grab 12 bowls and and just do the food because some of them get more than others, and you know. But um, that's what it was, man. It took um, three different kinds of wormers to actually get it under control. Um, this spot right here this time of day is too fucking hot, man. Ugh. But this spot's in the shade all day, but from about five o'clock to eight o'clock, it's just too hot. But yeah, Joey's fat and normal. Um, but yeah, right. I put some dirt in it, but right here on this outside edge, it just stayed wet. And um, I mean, 16 gallons of bleach, and um four boxes of borax laundry detergent doing every spot bleaching out every kennel bleaching out every water bowl um man i thought it was like fucking parvo at first i was like oh shit i was like i'd rather lose a dog than lose the fucking yard so i didn't know whether to quarantine them or or what i, I was scared to Leave him on the yard. So I brought Joey in the house. Like I say, put an IV in him. Man, if, if y'all can do it, like I got my, I got an IV, an extra IV bag, just in case something like that ever happens again. Cause that's about the only way you can save them. And if it's on a weekend, like a Saturday or a Sunday, most vets, like my vet didn't open after lunch Saturdays. He's not open at all on Sundays. So, um, Crash got it. I was worried I was going to lose her. She just started eating back good yesterday. They're all all eating right now, so I got to put some weight back on her. I might actually just uh, kennel her up. I got some empty kennels, and I just got finished bleaching these again. Some of these chain spots got bleached three times. Um, these kennels got bleached out twice. But uh, Digger, where's my boy? Digger's getting big. Hey, Trouble. I got to spray out your kennel, though. 
But yeah, I just wanted to um, tell y'all, man. I tell you, it, it like 24 hours, they was fucking down and out. So um, just be on, just be aware. Um, it I it took um, valbazin, which is albendazole, and I would do that one day, and then I would switch it up with the finbendazole, which is the safeguard, and I just alternated that for four days straight, and um, that seemed to knock it out. There's another um, wormer I got from my vet called Metro Mendazol. Um, I use that as well. So it really took like three kinds of wormers. Jesse got it. I mean, the only ones that didn't get it were Coco and Cyrus. They were the only ones that uh, that didn't get it. But um, but yeah, man. Just uh, just be aware. Um, if you got, I'm going to tell you, it is important to fill in puddles and pick up shit. Because I know that's what it was. The rain would wash over the shit that they, and like if it's pouring down rain, I'm not going to get out here and pick up shit. So I just pick it up the next day. But the water runs over that shit and piss and then settles up in these trenches that are on the outskirts of the, of the chain spots or the um, exercise stations. And, um, man... And all they got to do is drink out of it. Well, and, you know, you can have fresh fucking crystal clear water and they'll go drink out of a fucking puddle. You can't help that. So, uh, but just have that shit on. Like, I, I keep it. The only, I didn't have the safeguard because I always use thin, I mean, uh, albendazole, which is albazin. Um, so I buy that by like the, the liter, I think it is. It's like $100 a liter. Um, but, uh, I had to go buy like five tubes of a uh, safeguard and I finished up the leader. So I got to buy all new armor. I, I went ahead and gave them ivermectin. They had everything in like a week. Like <laughs> anything that is a wormer, they had it. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, get that out there, man. It's a uh, shout out to, uh, to Bill. Cause, uh, I talked to him and, you know, no one has ever told me or recommended this, but I mean, my vet charged me three hundred dollars to, you know, fifty-five for office visit, sixty for a parvo test, eighteen for a fecal um, test, and like Bill was like, "Why don't you get a microscope?" I'm like, "Why?" He's like, "Well, you can do your own like fecal um, examinations, and you can like, you know, you can look up online and." get a uh, microscopic images of what hookworms look like, parvo, whatever. And, um, I was like, God damn, 30 years and nobody ever fucking told me that. So, uh, shout out props to, to Bill for that. Cause, uh, you can get them on like eBay for less than a hundred bucks. You can get a decent one. But, um, anyway, he was, uh, he was real helpful. But, um, the vet turned like, when he said the part of the test come back negative, I was like, thank God. And he said, uh, well, we have a bunch of, we never have a false positive, but we have a lot of false negatives. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? He's like, it could still be parvo. I'm like, well, what the fuck is it? Giardia, coccidia, parvo, all those have the same freaking symptoms. He was like, I don't know, son, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know, man. These vets, man, I swear to God, all they want is your money. <coughs> <laughs> I'm still getting over this cold. But uh so yeah man. Shout out to Bill. Y'all might wanna like I say, you can look on eBay and get microscopes for less than a hundred bucks. I mean good ones. So uh I don't I you know, you won't need the vet. You do your own fecal sample uh and look at it, you know, and you wanna put like saline solution in it or something and break it up, break it all up. Um, and then look at it under a microscope, put on a slide and, um, look at it under a microscope. So, um, so yeah, just a shout out, um, to everybody be on the lookout for fucking hookworms. I mean, I've, I've never had them this bad. Then again, I worm every three months, but it's never rained as much as it has ever since I've been here on this property to where water stayed puddled up for months at the time. 
and I usually put hay on it. But I switched from the hay because it's hot now. I went, I use cedar chips in the summertime. So, um, so yeah, I didn't have any hay, and I just kind of was like, fuck it. It's just water. It'll be dry. But nah, it turns into a cesspool of diseases, man. For real. Facts. Anyway. Y'all keep on scratching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, God bless y'all. And God bless everybody's dogs. And hopefully everybody's uh, maintaining. You know. So uh, keep on scratching. I'll catch you on the next video.